What's going on? My name is Ethan J, and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different because this is a client project for Liverpool FC from the Premier League. And big thank you to Dave Will for getting me involved in the project. He's a great designer and illustrator in his own right. So I've linked him down below if you want to check him out. This is going to be like a speed art breakdown hybrid kind of video because when I make a speed art with no voiceover or nothing, I feel like it's just a little bit dry. They're a little bit boring, innit? So I wanted to make this a bit more interesting and add a voiceover on top so I can talk about my design decisions, design decisions, that's tough to say. But I can talk about my design choices, what I was thinking, why I did what I did and all that fun design stuff. But with all that out of the way, let's jump into Photoshop and get started. So let's start with the player cutouts. I usually always have a separate cutout just for the player body, like the main part of the photo that I'm cutting out. And then I have a separate selection for the hair. So I can use the refined hairbrush to really get a good selection. Then I added in a camera roll filter just to make everything look a bit more sharper, more detailed. And I also used an exposure adjustment layer to add in the shadows and highlights. I already knew how I wanted the composition to look. I knew where the light source was coming from. I knew where the shadows needed to be. So I could kind of add that in beforehand without having to drop it into the composition. I also needed to cover up the Carabao cut patch on Jordan Henderson's right arm. So I used the patch tool to get a red part of the top and cover it up. The background photo I wanted to use was Mo Salah. So I went ahead, grabbed him and dropped him in. As you can see, I've already added camera raw and shadows and highlights to all of these just beforehand. So you didn't have to sit there and watch me do all of that. Added in a red color fill and got a mask of the Salah silhouette and then dropped in a cutout of Anfield. Using a hue and saturation adjustment, I turned the whole Anfield photo to red to match the background. I then lowered the opacity and added some vignette. Now, my initial plan for the background was to have it look fiery and kind of embery and all that kind of stuff, similar to my Splash Bros design that I'd done recently. But after looking at it, I realized it didn't look that great. So I went in a different direction and I dropped in the Liverpool logo and got a selection of that greeny tealy kind of color that they use. Using a few different shades of that color, I created a gradient and I think that looks much better than the orangey yellowy direction I was going in. I also wasn't sure whether I wanted this kind of background gradient to extend through the whole of the background or just keep it to one side. So I played around with it a bit and ended up settling on it just being on that right side. I went ahead and dropped in a color correction setup that I've used in a previous design. That's the CC folder that you can see there. And I went ahead and played with the settings a little bit just so it matched this design perfectly. Now it's time to drop in the rest of our cutouts and arrange them. I had to add in some shadows behind each player so all of the cutouts stood out a little bit more and then blend into each other so much. Then using some 3D renders of footballs and stadium lights that I found, I dropped them into the comp. Added in some field blur to the football at the top right and put the second one behind Mane. And then arranged the stadium lights on either side of the composition. Now, like with most client projects, some text needed to be included. So I added in the tuning information and the stadium name down at the bottom. Then using an exposure adjustment layer, I made it look like all the stadium lights were on. There was no way I was about to do that twice. So I copied the whole thing, flipped it, and then put it on the other side. I also had to include the team names that were playing. So it's Liverpool versus Man City. My first idea was to have the text in 3D. So using After Effects, I put both team names in 3D and exported it to Photoshop. A quick trick I use is that I export the text with a green or just a different kind of colored body so I can get an easy selection of that center part and then change it to whatever it is I want it to look like. Thank you. 
I experimented with this hexagon type texture and like a gradient on each of the words, but I ended up not really liking it as I feel like it made the graphic look too busy and too cluttered. So I opted for 2D text instead and I feel like that suited the overall graphic much better. I added in some shadows on top of the text just to give everything a bit more depth and then it was time to add in the team logos. Originally I tried with the full colour logos but I felt like that took away from the negative white space that I was using in the graphic so I opted for the black and white mono versions of the logos instead. I added in the walk on motif, lowered the opacity of everything and I feel like the graphic is in a really good place so far. Then I needed to add in some teal light reflections. So using a hue and saturation adjustment layer set to colorize, I painted in where all of that light would naturally hit. And now I needed to add some glows to those stadium lights. So using blue color fills set to screen, I painted those in. And to top it all off, I added in some of my lens flares to really emphasize the highlights. I also went ahead and added in some... Hold on, wait. I need to stop this video for one second because I know you're thinking, what is EJD Lens Object 037? Well, I'm gonna tell you what EJD Lens Object 037 is. It's a stock image from my website, ethanjdesignshop.com. It's where you can get a whole bunch of different Photoshop resources, specifically tailored for sports designers, but any graphic designer can use them. Over there, I've got lens objects like what you can see now, I've got lens flares like what you can see here, and I also sell color correction LUT packs that I use on all of my designs. So if you like the look of those and you want to support me, you can go check them out, ethanjdesignshop.com. So yeah, that's your question answered because I know you was thinking it. But anyway, back to the video. So I added in a bunch of my lens objects. I really like adding these in at the end of a design. I feel like it just caps off everything and just makes things look cooler, to be honest. So, at this point, I started thinking that the bottom of the graphic looked a bit flat, it looked a bit plain. So I went ahead and found some ember photos and dropped them in. I feel like this added some more depth and just something more interesting for the eye to look at down at the bottom. I also thought the teal gradient was also looking a bit flat, so I added in some smoke textures there as well. Then, to finish it off, we merged everything together into a separate layer, put it through Camera Raw, tweaked all of the different settings until I was happy, and then turned the color correction layers back on. And there we go. I'm really happy with how the graphic turned out. Big thank you again to Dave Will for getting me involved and commissioning the artwork and letting me kind of do whatever I wanted to do for the design. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. It really means a lot, and I'll catch you on the next one.
Peace.